Federal Ambazonians, we are observing the final leg of this race to Boya. From the beginning of the year, I told us with the prophetic eye that this year shall be the beginning of our exit. And I, I christened the draft of 2024 the exit draft. I remember some people called me and said, why? Why the exit draft? Somebody even asked me the question during one of our town halls. I told us that this year shall mark the beginning of the end of the struggle. Today, I want to appreciate all those who embraced the changes that were laid very strong in my mind that we adopt because of what I saw in the horizon. Thank you. And let me say this. When a, a leader depends on God, he will always be inspired by God. And when you pose him or her or challenge him, sometimes you can miss out. You can miss God in your in that equation. When I said we have to be working towards the exit and therefore the federal government needed some strong presence to make this happen in an organized institutional way from the top. Some people still question it but today you can see clearly things are unfolding. Yes. But here's what I want to tell us now. We are changing gears. We have to launch the transition fund this Saturday. We are launching the Ambazonia Transition Fund this Saturday because this fund is critical because we must enable the countdown operations to commence and we have to have everything to do with holding, you know, opening the right doors in our diplomacy and getting many things on standby. I call that Operation Z. I call them that Plan Z because the zero hour is very close in our struggle. I'm inviting you at this moment, if you have ever fought for Ambazonia, if you have ever believed that one day the end shall come, I don't know where you are now versus where you were before. If you can hear my voice, it means you are not far away. If you are in any forum where you can hear my voice, then you are not far away. Let us put our hands together and fund our transition. Funds begin the funding, launch the funding of our transitional operations. I count on you. I count on everyone, even to our children. If those who have been watching us from a distance, those who were tired yesterday, they were committed once upon a time. This is, a, this is the moment for you to be numbered. Our transition, our register will obviously be open in Boya because even those who were naysayers among, amongst the people of Southern Cameroon can now see the handwriting on the wall. If you want, it is better for you to be numbered now than to wait until we get to Boya. I start telling us you were a brother to this, a sister to this, I was a cousin this, I was supporting from behind, you were tired, that's why and so on. This is the moment for us to come and fund the transition. We would have done this next year, 2025 as I felt from the beginning of this year, but that would be too late. I want to challenge you to come. Let us launch a transition fund and raise a couple of hundreds of thousands of dollars because there is work to do. There's much work to be done for us to cross the finish line. I count on you and all the friends you can bring. I count on you. Saturday will be the 20th of August. Saturday will be the 20th of August. You are cordially invited. God bless you and God bless a free Amazonia. The date is Saturday the 19th of October 2024. The time is 8 p.m. Amazonia time. I know, fellow comrades, that it is hard to require more in the final leg of a 10,000 kilometers race. It is difficult. It is hard to require more or expect more. But in that final leg where we are now, in this final leg, if we fail, if we don't do what we have to do, and if we don't do so effectively and successfully, our sacrifices up to this point will not be remembered, will be useless, would have been a waste of time. So this is the moment I'm calling all of us, on all of us, to forget about what we have done, to ask ourselves what we must do now. Because what we do now successfully will give value to what we have done before. The times are very, very crucial in the history of our struggle. I count on you. May the people and the nation of Amazonia, dead, living, and posterity, may they also count on you. Come and be numbered. Come and let your name be written in the register in stone. Because this final chapter cannot be written without you without an extra sacrifice that you have never made before. I want to give like I have never given before because this is the most consequential fund we are putting to play in place right now. And that is what will help us through the goat across the finish line. I count on you. May the living and the dead, those to come, may they depend on you at this critical moment. God bless you. God bless our beautiful nation.